Today's video is sponsored by Bug Assault, and I'll introduce you to those guys here in just a few minutes as I use them to smash some flies around the house and the farm. I've also got some incredible scope cam footage to show you from this epic game of hide and go sleep that I had with the neighborhood tree rats. And finally, I found a really cool integrated foregrip light uh, that is perfect for the Leshy 2 that I'm going to show you as I wrap up this video with some cool thermal. So buckle up. Today is action packed. The Leshy Channel presents Hide and Go Sleep. Chimungs are like fly fishing for salmon. They say that's the fish of a thousand casts, but instead of a thousand shots, it's more like 999 times you almost shot uh, and then one good one. Essentially, it just takes a ton of patience. So they have severe ADD and they move around just like they did an eight ball with their buddies back in the den. So once they get focused though on something like peanuts in this case, you can settle in and send it. Oh man, that was a heavy hit. Let's watch this again, and you can see I was trying to time it where I thought he'd pause for just that second. Uh, they are so small, even the slightest movement, uh, and you can miss, especially on a headshot. This one came up shortly after, and it was just tall enough to stand. Ooh, and then, compliments of the Leshy too, it's now taking a nap. Let me take a quick minute to introduce you to a couple of new toys you'll see on the channel. The Bug Assault Guns. The pump action is similar to a spring-powered Nerf gun, except it shoots salt. So you simply fill it uh, with table salt. You can buy it from them as well in this handy little kind of package that they have. It makes it easy for filling. Uh, you pump it and shoot. Rinse and repeat. Not rinse, but you know what I mean. Uh, they have an optional laser too, uh, which is actually uh, pretty helpful because you're kind of shooting this thing off your hip like Rambo style. You're not really shouldering the thing. Uh, although there are, um, they're not iron sights, they're plastic sights, but um, you could aim that way as well. So the effective range on this for normal flies is probably three to four feet. Uh, and for anything bigger like a Hornet, uh, you need to be within a foot or so. And if it's power that you're after though, the second option is much more powerful as it's CO2 driven uh, and it's a revolver called the Shredder. Uh, and boy, does this thing live up to its name. Uh, the effective name, or excuse me, the effective range uh, for flies is easily five to six feet. And for some of the big boys, you're back down to maybe three to four feet, but that's plenty of distance for me. For just under 200 bucks, you can actually snag both of these, uh, and you don't have to make the impossible decision of which one to buy. So I find myself actually using both pretty regularly. Uh, I love the idea of the pump action because it's essentially unlimited shots. You're just filling it with salt. Uh, but the power of the shredder, man, it is just so much fun uh, and really ups the kill power to comfortably take the bigger flies or like the hornets and stuff at reasonable ranges. So the downside of the revolver is it's CO2, right? So you got to have those and uh, these magazines. Although I heard that they are looking at uh, like a recycle program or a way to reload them. But for now, you have to buy these magazines. So for me, uh, I put the boomstick on, I pull this boomstick out on these big old flies and hornets, or if there's just like a ton of flies, like I'm camping in and around food or something, uh, and I need that rapid fire action. But for day to day kind of normal fly sniping, I just grab the pump action. All right, so there's one more use case for these where I found that they've been, uh, the bug assault guns have come in quite handy. So to show you that though, I need to smoke this chipmunk and that tree rat lurking above wondering what's up with all the salt everywhere. Oof, that 47 NSA slug sure leaves a mark. All that bubble gum everywhere really attracts the flies, but to really create a swarm of them, let me double tap this guy first.
with all that fur down, it's gonna be fly central around the table for one. And I think you know where I'm going with this. Before retrieving them, it's time to mag dump and go pound town on some flies. So thanks again to my friends over at Bug Assault for sponsoring today's video. If you want to grab one of these, I'll drop a link in the description. Now, let's get back to a little game of hide and go sleep. I'm shooting my Leshy 2 and 7.62 for most of this video, and on top I have the incredible March Optics 4.5x28 with their high master glass. So this was early evening. As you can see, it's pretty dark, uh, and it was a great opportunity for me to flick on the illumination so I could take a shot on that little guy. I put out this new mini table for one about 20 yards out. It's right on top of a game trail. Uh, some of these guys won't navigate more than a few feet off that trail. So when I'm noticing that, I'll put this second table for one out. All right, let's go to a little nighttime action here. So I changed the barrel out on my 22 Leshy for this 25 cal, uh, and I put the ATN Thor 4 thermal on top. This is my kind of go-to nighttime rig as nothing can hide from that thermal. Look at this explosion. Oof. So I'm gonna show you why I cycled out the 22 here in just a second. Thermal isn't just for nighttime. You can actually use it during the day as well. So I find it to be an invaluable tool for finding little guys like this. So I love filming too in this picture in picture so that you can see both. And I'm using the ATN Binox 4Ks to do that. Those things are super useful and you see me use them throughout the channel. You may have noticed a foregrip I've been using on my nighttime rigs, so on the thermal and the uh, night vision. So I've been uh, running a prototype of it for about six months now. It's an integrated grip and light from Olight, and the thing is absolutely amazing. And Olight dropped me a note uh, while I was editing this video that they decided to release it early as part of a flash sale that they got going on. So I was intending to kind of go through it a little bit and show you guys in an upcoming Backyard Bullies video, but... Uh, they only made a, like a limited run of these things, and so it's so perfect on the Leshy 2. Uh, I wanted to just quickly kind of mention it to you guys. If you got a Leshy 2, you should check out this light. I'll throw a link in the description if you want to snag it. Highly recommend. So I guess since uh, we took a little break there, right, for a little show and tell, uh, why don't I show you something else that arrived? So while I was editing this video, a package arrived from my friends over at Airgun Sport, the U.S. importer of Steyr, and it was this beauty. The Steyr Pro X and 22 cal. So I'm going to be doing a deep dive on this in an upcoming video, but my initial impressions are, wow, this thing is absolute class. It's insanely accurate and without question, the best trigger I've ever pulled on a bullpup. All that and it's semi-auto as well. I let my daughter uh, send the first few mags through and after a little lesson in practice with the trigger, she was mag dumping dime size groups. More on this super cool gun later, as after I get a chance to shoot it for a bit and master the triple tap, little hint, hint, what's coming, uh, I'm going to give this guy away, so stay tuned on that. Alright, back to the mini table for on, where I got this chipmunk, watch this shot. Right in the kisser. Oof. And then... Almost immediately after, there was a squirrel just down below waiting, so I ear -holed this guy. It's strange now that I think about it, I've been getting quite a few chipmunk squirrel doubles. Uh, this next double was squirrel first, uh, and then I just absolutely emptied the tank on this chipmunk which I'm gonna have to go black and white on uh, this next shot here but look at this guy he just frozen oof actually wasn't sure because that uh, I pushed that shot a little bit I remember this one I pushed it so I dropped another one into it just to make sure here it comes Oh, and black and white. No, I think I can get away with that one. We're going to go black and white on here for sure. Just an absolutely devastating shot. So those who question if this is a humane way of pest control, I'll enter this as Exhibit A. 
So one last shot here for, uh, and we're gonna wrap up this video. I saw this guy trying to like, uh, trying to hide behind a leaf. Nope, not gonna work, buddy. See ya. Thanks for watching the Ed Gun Leshy channel. Want more backyard hunting videos? Grab your favorite beverage and get yourself caught up. There's hundreds just like the one you just watched. Here's a couple favorites to get you started. Mm hmm?